Hey guys, I'm Dimension Champion. and today I'll be doing my top 5 announcements that could come up in the Nintendo Direct. Now, as of recording, uh, that was a Nintendo made an announcement, I believe, last night, um, that being the 19th of February, saying that uh, there's going to be a sort of Partners Direct thing coming out tomorrow, which will be the 21st, and, you know, with a lot of directs, um, especially when it comes to, when it comes to Nintendo, um, there's all there's all a lot of, there's going to be a lot of speculation um, surrounding uh, what kind of games are going to be up there. Like you know, first party games, uh, indie games, third party games, ports, um, and that sort of stuff. And this video just is just just, just, just going to be me going over some of my thoughts on or what some of the games that could be um, shown or some other stuff, that sort of thing, so yeah. So for number 5 is a new 2D Zelda game. Now I think when it comes to Zelda games as a whole, um, or the Zelda series, I think we're not going to be seeing a, a, whole, a whole lot of new Zelda stuff, I would say. Probably when it comes to the 3D games, um, or, or a new 3D game being released because Tears of the Kingdom is almost a year old but it's, it's still relatively new um, because it, as I said before it's almost a year old and I think Nintendo wouldn't want to just directly go into the next 3D game after uh, the huge success of Tears of the Kingdom and how many copies that sold. Uh, so I think when it comes to Zelda games, I've, I always think that Nintendo would want to slow down a bit and probably make a new 2D game, maybe. So, like, okay, we want to slow down a bit, here's a new 2D game that's, like, in the same style as, let's say, Link, the, Link, the Link's Awakening remake, maybe something like that. Or maybe make a new, a whole new 2D game from the ground up, something like that, just so... Just so we so we can be tied over until Nintendo announce a new 3D game, something like that. So, yeah, it'll be something. It'll be something quite cool to see, like a new 2D Zelda game and how how the story is done and that sort of stuff, and what kind of characters and dungeons and enemies we can see from a new 2D game. For number four, it's a Zelda remake slash port. Now, I think this is. Hi, this is, I think this is somewhat highly likely, maybe, if we do get some sort of amount, announcement of a Zelda-based game, because we the last sort of remake slash port was the um, Skull Sword HD remake, and I enjoyed that, I enjoyed the, re the HD remake, I, I really enjoyed all the changes and uh, stuff they made to the game, and I would feel like if they were, if Nintendo were going to make a remake of an old game, it'll probably be highly likely a f one a, an old game, or they could just remake do a re remake of um, of maybe Ocarina of Time on Majora's Mask, maybe because there has been in the past a re remake of an old game that is on Nintendo, and that is the Let's Go games. Because it's a re remake of Gen One, and but it's with the Let's Go mechanics. So, if they were if if Nintendo were going to remake a an old game, they'll probably go with um, Ocarina of Time on Majora's Mask, just so like it could be like a higher uh, visual visually and gameplay wise maybe. Um, but on the other hand, they could remake. Um, like one of the two D games, like Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks, something like that. And with the ports, they could bring over um, the Wind Waker and uh, Twilight Princess HD from the Wii U, because as we all know, the Wii U didn't sell them well. It's probably I think the least sold handheld console for Nintendo, so. If Nintendo were going to port over any remakes, they'll probably port over both the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD to the Switch, maybe. And it's 
a lot of people seem to um, want the want the Switch or not the Switch, the um, HD or, or, or Switch versions of those two games. So yeah, that would be cool to see something like that. So yeah. For number three, is an Xbox port. Now I think last week or so, or, or somewhere over the last two days, um, Xbox or Microsoft, I think I think it was mainly Xbox, announced that they'll be porting over four games to both the Switch and I think the PS5 as well. And I, I think that's sort of like the test, like, okay, what kind of games can, will people want to get and stuff like that. So, yeah, and I've heard some stuff flying about, like, there's like, I think Hi-Fi Rush, was up there as being speculated to be on, to be both on the Switch and the PS5. So, yeah, and I think, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what is announced and if they are, are there's going to be any Xbox, um, what kind of games Xbox is going to be putting over to the Switch. Because, I, I don't know, I don't know, because, like, on the one hand, it's good to have, you know, poured over games um, so that everyone can have some sort of experience with them, like with well, like with the Persona games of recently, because you had um, Persona Five Royal, then you got um, Portable Reload, no Portable um, Persona Three Portable Golden Persona ah, Persona Four Golden and Arena Ultimax, where all of those games were were released on all consoles, and then you got Reload, which had a similar treatment, but not on Nintendo Switch, I believe, and. Yeah, and and other than on the other hand, the, there might be like some games you want to keep on a specific console, maybe because uh, you want uh, maybe for specific reasons. I'm not sure, but yeah, whatever. You, if if there is an announcement for any Xbox games, then uh, well, when they when when the uh, when the direct happens tomorrow, which would be today, when upon a, upon upload, um, yeah, just I excited to see what announcements if there is an Xbox announcement. So yeah. For number two, is uh, any indie games maybe, and I think indie games are, are is an interesting kind of genre I would say because indie games are a sort of a sort of because like with indie games you can get like there are like a lot of sleeper hits like with Cuphead when when that came out a lot of people would just play it and then. You've got a variety of other indie games and stuff like that, which became huge success. And yeah, it'll be cool to see if we do get any indie games, maybe. Like, oh, here's an indie game that's in development right now. It's not going to be released until this particular date, maybe. Um, but yeah, if we do get a, if we do get to see any indie games, it'll be, see this, it'll be cool to see how the, uh, how see what kind of style will be and stuff like that. So yeah. And for number one is an announcement for the Switch 2. Now, this is probably highly unlikely because from what I remember in the announcement, it was like games that will be released in the first half of this year. And I highly doubt that Nintendo will announce the Switch 2 um, because I think, because even though the Switch is kind of, is kind of coming, at, coming to the end of its life, of life cycle, because it's been out since, I think, 2017-ish. Um, so about seven years. Um, I would say that if, the, if there's an announcement saying, oh, we've, we've got an announcement at the end of the Direct, here's like a, the, here's the announcement for the Switch 2, um, but we don't, we don't want to talk about it too much, that'd be cool. But I highly doubt they'll uh, Nintendo will make a huge announcement out of this. I think if they will, it'll probably be announce it towards the end of the year, maybe. Maybe in like a September, November di direct, maybe. I'm not sure, so yeah. So that's been my top five announcements for uh, the Nintendo Direct. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And it's the next video.